Oh good, you're still here. As it turns out, I need a couple of top-notch reporters to cover some hot stories today. First, Thea, the glamorous host of Story Theater, is opening tonight at the Granada. Billy, can you cover that? You bet! George, I need you to go to the library. The famous children's author, Wanda Jewell, will be reading her newest stories. It's a very big event. The whole town will be there, even the mayor. It was a perfect assignment for George. He loved the books that Wanda Jewell wrote. I'll need your stories by 6 o'clock to make the late edition. Good luck and don't miss your deadlines. George and Billy went off to their first assignments. George hurried to the library and got there early. He wanted to do a good job. He saw the librarian giving books to people. He also saw how happy everyone was to receive the books. Thank you. George was curious. He wanted to make people happy too. He found a pile of books and started giving them away. Why, thank you so much. Wanda Jewell came in to start her reading. Thank you all for... Oh! My books! They're gone! I just finished the drawings last night, and those were the only copies I had. I can't read you my stories if they're not here. Where could they have gone? As mayor of this town, I promise you that your books shall be found and returned. Everyone, please spread the word. We will find those books and we will have the reading. Please be back here at 5 o'clock. George had made a terrible mistake. He had given away all of Wanda Jewel's special books. He would have to get them back by 5 o'clock or there would be no reading. George was about to leave when he spotted a man with one of the books. George ran after him. There were a lot of people outside, but George didn't take his eye off the man with the book until... Oh no! Look what you've done, George! The Words in Bloom Festival starts today! And look at this! The words and letters are everywhere! I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You should really watch where you're going. George felt awful. It was a mess. George, want to help me out? You're a good climber, so you can help me get the letters off the statues. Be careful, though, and don't let the other gardeners catch you. Listen to the words I say. Then, look on the statues for the letters to spell each word. Use your mouse or the arrow keys on your keyboard to move George around the maze. But don't let the gardeners catch you. Ready when you are. Spell fabric. She bought some soft fabric to make a bathrobe. Fabric. F. A. T. 
wet, super, spell, sled. The girls rode down the hill on the sled. Sled. visit the library every day. Visit. V. I. S. Visit. Excellent. Spell I. This is not what I wanted. I. Capital I. I. Nice job. Spell top. I climbed to the very top. Top. is a hard job. Job. J. O. B. Job. Nice job. Spell rug. The cat is on the rug. Rug. R. U. G. Rug. Good work. Spell muffin. He had a muffin and some juice for breakfast. Muffin. George had found a couple of the books in the garden, but he knew there were more. Just then, 
he spotted a woman leaving the park with one of the books. George was dizzy from running around the maze, but he had to catch up to her and get that book.